on that bitch. Hey y'all, it's your girl Kia Cole and I'm back with a video. What is up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Keeping It Cute with Key. On my channel, you'll see anything from fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, and a couple of other videos that I throw in the mix. So if you are new, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you came. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you can see any videos that I post. Um, today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I know um, I don't usually do videos like this, but today I'm going to be doing a DIY on how to do your very own geometric wall. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to show you guys what colors I use and how exactly I did my wall. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys are also following me on Instagram at Keeping It Cute With Key. And I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you name it, I have it. So just make sure you follow your girl. And once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you did not hit the subscribe button, you might as well hit it now because you're gonna love what you see. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna jump right into it, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is gonna be part one of a room renovation that I'm gonna be doing. There'll be more videos to come. This room has been pink for over 20 years, so we're gonna switch it up. Start, I wanted to show you guys the three colors that I decided to choose. Um, these are all bare colors, and I was trying to go for a matte, but they said they no longer sell these paintings in the matte color, so I had to go ahead and go with the semi-gloss. So this is the main base color of the room. It's called Monologue. It's a purple. Um, it's exactly what I was looking for. It's not too dark, not too light, and you can see the color. Um, this is the pink that I went ahead and went with. And then this is the yellow that I went with. So these are the three colors. I got them all from Home Depot. I didn't get a gallon. I did the quart size, so I didn't need too much paint. And I was able to secure the entire wall. So we're going to go ahead and continue this video. So you guys stay tuned. So to begin the first process, as you can see, the wall was pink before. And what we went ahead and did was painted the wall white. Um, we decided to use a primer instead of white paint and we had to do two coats. Next, I went ahead and grabbed my painter's tape and I made lines on the wall. So pretty much I'm just making random lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. All the shapes don't have to look the same. This is how you're gonna create that geometric look. You're just gonna apply lines to the wall and it could be any style, any way, any format. You're just having fun. Some of my tape might not be straight, but I noticed it at the end, but it's totally fine. We're just gonna keep going. So next, I'm going to start mapping out what colors are going to go in what squares. So I'm going to start with the pink first, and I'm really much plotting where I'm going to put each color and what order. The whole idea is, is that you don't want to have the same color next to each other. Um, the best thing to do is choose either three to four colors so that you can have more of a balance and then you don't have too many colors next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and start with one color at a time um, because I didn't want to flip back and forth between the paint brushes and then my paint eventually dries out because once the paint dries out on the brushes it's very hard to get it, the paint off of the brushes. It really won't come off. So this way I felt like it was a little bit more better and efficient so I won't have to run back and forth to clean my brushes. Eventually, I will stop with the pink. Towards the end of the video, you'll see that I will go back to the pink. But for now, we're just going to focus on the pink and try to fill in as many spaces as we can. You guys, excuse my daughter. She's going to keep coming in and out. Um, if you're a mom, you already know how it is. She won't let me be great. But um, it took a little longer than I expected only because I had to keep stopping for my kids and my dog. But this kind of project will typically take you about two to three hours depending on what kind of um, squares or triangles you do, how big they are or if they're small, um, if you also add detail to your wall. But it was very fun and it went by very fast. Um, I feel like this is more fun than painting a wall straight through with one color. But yeah, so stay tuned.
So now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the yellow color and we're just gonna fill in all of the boxes where we're gonna use the yellow. Just to let you guys know, I only did one coat of this entire thing and I let it air dry overnight. So now we're going to go ahead and add our final color which is the purple. As you can see, it's coming out very well. I love the colors. Everything looks so pretty. Um, when I get over here, you'll see I added another strip of paint just so I can have a better balance with the colors. And if you need to do so, it's totally fine. And you can see I also switched back and forth between colors because now I'm at the final end. But everything came along so beautifully and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So yeah. So now it's time for the fun part. We're going to go ahead and remove the tape and we're going to see the final piece. I can't wait. I am super excited. It looks so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, but this is my first time doing this. I was super excited. I even thought like, hmm, maybe I could do this as a side hustle, but <laughs> we're going to go ahead and pass. But don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you can see any videos that I post. Peace.